I'm here with Sandia computer scientist Casey Dicio, and we're here to take a look at his DNS Viz software tool. So Casey, why don't you go ahead and walk us through the tool and show us how it works. Sure. So uh, right here we're looking at a DNS visualization of Sandia.gov. And basically the domain name system, or DNS, is a critical component of the internet that translates a domain name like Sandia.gov to an internet address. Uh, the problem is that in order to get that, there's a lot of different interaction with a lot of different entities on the internet to be able to get the answer that you need. And the same thing happens for authentication with DNS security or DNSSEC. So the visualization is intended to be able to take all those different interactions and put them together into a single graph, such as the one you see right here uh, for Sandia.gov on the DNS Viz uh, page. And what this represents now, the full graph altogether shows the authentication uh, that you would see clear from Sandia.gov uh, to a trusted point, all the arrows representing the trust from one node to another, um, ultimately leading um, you to trust the answer at the very bottom. And who's the end user for this tool? Who can really benefit the most from it? There's a number of people that are uh, interested in the DNS because of its critical area in the internet and particularly those companies that are trying to secure their names and their assets and also uh, the registrars and registries that are in charge of, of the DNS itself um, in, uh, are, are interested in deploying DNSSEC and, and the DNS administrators would be the actual ones that are looking at the tool for the most part, the ones that are actually deploying this, this on the technical side of things. And let's talk about uh, next steps for the DNS Viz project. What is it that you need specifically to continue to refine this tool and, 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 and further its development? Uh, particularly, we're, we're looking to expand the scope of this um, to not only identify errors in people's configurations and to give them an understanding of what it looks like, but also to perform a, a, um, a more comprehensive monitoring system, um, give a historical analysis, and so enable to be able to do that, we're looking for additional funding to dedicate to this so we can expand the scope, make it more available and, and uh, more accessible to users. Okay, well hopefully we'll hear from some organizations out there that, that might wish to partner with us uh, on this project. Thank yeah. you very much for, uh, for being with us, Casey. Thank you.